Hello everyone, today we're working on a 2014 Buick Encore. We're going to be doing a fluid change and a transmission flush on it. And first thing I want to show you is we have a, I have a fluid capacity website that brings up all the fluid capacities and the recommended fluids for each cavity. Uh, on this vehicle, uh, the initial fill is 4.2 quarts. The total fill on this uh, 6T40 is 9 quarts. So if you just pull the plug about, you're going to get about half of the fluid out. So we're going to try and do, uh, we're going to do a flush on it to get the remainder of the old fluid out. Uh, this vehicle has about 88,000 miles on it. We're going to see what the fluid looks like. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to pull, check the fluid level. And when we do that, the transmission needs to be up to 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So the way we're going to check that, you can use a diagnostic tool. If you don't have one, there's another way to do it. Uh, these temp guns are fairly accurate. They're not expensive. Um, you can shoot the bottom of that transmission, shoot the temp on it, and, and get yourself really close to where you need to be. I'll be using a thermal imaging camera today. It's a little more accurate. Uh, it's just what I have and, and uh, works really well for that. Um, so when we do this, the, flu the vehicle needs to be level front to back. And again, the fluid up to 180 to 190 degrees. We'll start the vehicle up and run it through the gears once, and then we'll check it. And when we get all done, we'll do the same thing. We're going to take it for a drive, and we'll do the final check at 180 to 190 degrees. And the fluid we'll be using today is the Amsoil uh, Low Viscosity uh, Synthetic ATF. Uh, this fluid will run about 20 to 50 degrees cooler than petroleum-based fluids, and uh, it gives you much longer transmission life. So this here kind of gives you the spec sheet on it, and uh, it's got a, a test there, a, a Las Vegas taxi fleet test. Kind of shows the performance there to around 180,000 miles. And uh, on the back side of this sheet, we have the specifications. I have them highlighted in yellow for this particular vehicle. So this is the fluid we'll be using, and it's a chemical engineered synthetic. So you get uh, much better performance and longer transmission life out of this. So we're going to start with checking the transmission fluid level, and uh, we'll be back with you. Okay, we're letting that transmission warm up so we can check the fluid level before we start. This piece right here, this plastic piece, kind of a U-shaped piece, has to come off. And there's some uh, little plastic peepers on there that have to come down. And then there's a Torx 20, there's a couple of Torx 20 bolts on them. And then there's two 10 millimeter bolts that have to come out too, 10 millimeter head. The drain plug for the transmission's right here. So that's where we'll be draining it at. And uh, we're going to check the temp here and see how we're coming. Okay, we've got a 7 16 wrench. That's the size of the head on that plug, on the check plug. And we've got it up to 180 degrees. When you go to take this plug out, be careful. That fluid's going to be hot. And we have none running out, so it looks like it was a little bit low. So we're going to shut it off, and we're going to uh, take out the drain plug, drain it out, see what the fluid looks like. We'll refill it and then we're going to get ready to do the flush. 
Okay, as soon as we shut the vehicle off, we had fluid coming out of that check plug. So it was low, but it was not terribly low. It just was just below that, uh, that plug there. Okay, we're going to take out the drain plug here. That's a 7 16 wrench size. And again, that's going to be some hot fluid. And for 80,000 miles, the stuff don't look too bad. It's got a little bit of a red, red tinge to it yet, but it's time. On these transmissions that do not have a uh, pan on them or a filter replaced, they have an internal filter, but you, the only way to get to it is to crack the case open. And you'd have to remove the transmission to do that, so it's out of the question. So on these type transmissions, I would be doing this type of a flush probably about every 50,000 miles. And uh, that will help with the transmission life. So we're going to go ahead and drain this down, and then uh, on the top side I'll show you where the fill spot is for it. There's a vent on top of the transmission, I'll show you that next. Okay, we're on the top side here, on the uh, under the hood, and I'm going to show you where that uh, transmission fill is. This is the air intake hose, and it's kind of right in the way, so what I'm going to do is come on over here, and I'll just uh, put a pry bar down against that tranny there, and just pry it over a little bit so it's out of the way so you can see. And I'm going to blow off the dirt off this uh, vent. This is actually a vent cap. This is where we're going to be filling the tranny. There, we can see a little better. And that basically just unscrews from the top of that transmission. Just like that. Take that off, and that's where you fill it at. Okay, we'll get a long funnel to go right down in there, and that'll work real well. Okay, we got this pretty well drained down. We're gonna put this plug back in, and it gets 106 inch pounds of torque. So we're gonna to torque this down. And then we're gonna fill it up. until it starts coming out of that uh, check plug on the side. Okay. We're gonna fill it up till it comes out of that check plug on the side. Okay, and then we're going to start doing the flush. And when it comes out of that check plug on the side, we're going to put that plug in just finger tight. And we're going to add some more to it because we're going to be doing a flush. We're going to be basically flushing out that fresh fluid through the torque converter and out through the cooler line so we can get the rest of that old fluid out. And uh, like I said, I may overfill it here initially, but it's going to get pumped right back out of that cooler line anyway. So um, it's going to take at least four quarts. I'll probably put in closer to five or six uh, uh, when I fill it back up just uh, to, to perform the flush and then when we're all done with the flush we'll put our lines back on and uh, recheck the level again. Okay on these jiffy tight fittings um, I've got this one here it's a lot easier to show you outside the vehicle how it's going to come apart than to try to show you in the vehicle itself. They make uh, tools to remove them this is one kit that I have it's not cheap this kit is around uh, 100 bucks from Napa and right here's the part number and this has all four sizes in and some of the bigger trucks have the uh, bigger jiffy type fittings now the one we're working with today this is a 3 8 and the way this works on uh, a jiffy type fitting you got a plastic keeper and you, you peel that out of the way I'm going to take that completely out of the way and then there's right here is a little clip you can kind of see me moving that clip that clip is what holds that tube inside that fitting and <clears throat> there's three actually three spots there where it's got kind of a bend in that clip now on this uh, jiffy type tool there are three legs one two three legs so what you're going to do is you're going to split it you're going to put it over the line we can put it in and you got to get it up all the way against the fitting right there and then when you do that you can see as I rotate it it expands those those uh, bends in that clip 
So as soon as we get it bent where we need it, we can pull it out. Now that works real good out here in the open. But I get into engine compartments where it is so tight that I don't have room enough to swing this and get both hands down there to be able to, to make everything work. So what I'll do there is I'll use an O-ring pick and basically take that clip off because I can usually get in with one finger and one hand you know with this pick and be able to pull that off and what I'll do is get underneath of one little spot there with that o-ring pick and then you can peel it right off just like that and hang on to it and you can see what it looks like it's shaped almost like the letter E okay and then you can go ahead and pull your line apart now inside here there's an o-ring and that o-ring seals on the snout of this uh, tube that we just took off the snout of that tube and this 3 8 OD poly tubing is exactly the same size. So what I'm going to do is put in that poly tubing until it gets to that O-ring. Basically just push it in and that's going to seal on that poly tubing. You can pick up that tubing at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards. It's just a simple cheap poly tubing. You can take that to your drain pan. Okay, so now when you go back together, <clears throat> If you've taken this apart, if you look at the side, you can see there's three slots. There's one here, one here, and one here. When you go to put that clip back on, you've got to bridge one of those slots with the two legs. So, right here's the slot. We're going to push it on. And it snaps in just like that right there. Okay, so those three low points or those three bends will ride up over this and up over that ramp and it clicks on the back side just like that and that's what keeps it in and then you put your little plastic keeper back on for the uh, snap ring and then you're done. So if you don't have to remove that spring clip then you can just snap it right back in. So if you remove it with the tool and you can just snap your line back into the fitting. So that's, uh, that's the best way that I can show you to uh, be able to take that line off. Top side of the engine, and right here is your air filter intake. We're going to pop that out. It's got a couple of rubber, rubber keepers right here. Set that out of the way. And that gives us access to this line right here. Uh, this is your transmission cooler line that's returning back to the transmission. Okay, and I can't really get the tool in there decent to remove it, so I'm going to use a, the O-ring pick. Let's see if I can pull it out without losing it. It's in a tight little spot there. Come here, Clip. Okay, Let's see if I can pull him out of there. There it is. Okay, there's that clip. We're going to set that out here somewhere safe. And I'm going to get a paper towel. Because there may be some fluid in that line. And I'll set it right underneath there to soak up any fluid that comes out. We'll pull that line out. Okay, we'll just pull it up here out of the way for now. Okay, and then our poly tubing here, we'll bring that in right in here. And that'll push right in that fitting and seal in that O-ring. There we go. Okay. So, that gets us all ready to do that flush. And uh, next thing is we'll start it up and uh, start that flush. Okay, we've got our uh, transmission ready to flush here. I put in five quarts. It is over full, but we're going to be pumping it right back out again through that torque converter and getting that torque converter flushed out. So uh, we'll go ahead and start it up and, and uh, wait till we get a good color change uh, to shut it off. Now, if you have a transmission that is nasty, the fluid's nasty, you may have to do this more than once. So uh, just be aware if, if, it, if it's a real dirty transmission, you may have to flush more than what I'm going to do here. So go ahead and start it up.
We did run through the gears about a couple seconds in each gear. Right there, we're starting to get a nice color change. If it starts sputtering, that's time to shut it off. You're sucking to the bottom of the pan. Okay, shut it off. I'm getting a nice cherry red color out of it now. I'm pretty happy with that. Get a little light on here. Yeah, it's, a, it's got a nice color change to it right there. Okay, here's the new fluid. Here's what we took out initially. You can see a little bit of a color change there. And the thing is with these trannies, they say it's filled for life. The problem with that whole idea is that uh, once the tranny fluid's broke down, the transmission follows suit thereafter. So if you keep that transmission fluid up, keep the synthetic in it, that Amsoil synthetic will definitely help with the life of that tranny significantly and uh, helps with smoother shifting as well. So. Okay, we got this clip here. It's about ready to go back in. Got to get it in the right position. It's kind of a tough one in this little spot. What I might try is using a needle nose. It might work. We'll try that. If I can hold it in the right position, it'll be all right. There we go. Yeah, I'm almost gonna have to do it by hand. Okay, there it is. It's back in. Now we can bring our cooler line down. And that gets shoved right back in. Give it a tug when you get it pushed in. Make sure it's tight. It ain't gonna come out. Then take your little keeper. Push it over top of that. And that's it for the cooler line. And there's going to be some oil down here that you spilled from taking that cooler line out. You can use some brake clean solvent and spray that down. And uh, that's it for that cooler line. So now we're going to refill the tranny. Okay, the cooler line's back on. And we're going to take out this check plug. And we're going to add fluid until it just runs out. And then we're going to put that plug back in. Okay, right there, it's just starting to run out, so we're going to put the plug back in. Come on, get in there. Okay. That gives us enough to start it up. And we can recheck the level. Basically, we'll take it, we'll start it up, and we'll take this plug back out, and we're going to fill it again until it just runs out again. And then we'll put the plug back in, take it for a test drive, get it up to temp, and then we'll check it once more. So, we'll do that. Start the vehicle here. We had this uh, fluid running out of here with the engine off. We're going to start it up now. Go ahead and start it. We're going to take that plug out. And we're going to fill it up until it starts coming out again. Okay, there, it's just starting to trickle out. Okay, so we'll put our plug back in. Okay, you can shut it off. Okay. So from here we're going to put the uh, fill plug back in the top, the, the uh, vent plug where we filled the tranny. I'm going to torque down this bowl a little bit here and we're going to go for a drive and get it up to temp. 
We'll recheck the level. Okay, we're ready to put that plug back in the top. This is the funnel I used there for that tranny. It worked real well. It's kind of a long, narrow one. And there's an O-ring here on that uh, on that fill cap. And that's what seals that, that vent. And we're going to pop this uh, hose, that intake hose over out of the way enough so we can get our hand in there. Start it straight and tighten it down until that O-ring hits. Get it nice and snug. It's kind of an awkward place to get into. There it goes. Just screw it down hand tight. That's it. Okay, our transmission temp is up to 180, 181. We're good there. I put in just over nine quarts total for this whole uh, fill. We'll see where we're at as far as the fluid. We took it out for a drive. Got it all up the temp. Okay, the fluid's just dribbling out, so that's where we want it, just like that. And they put this plug in a really bad spot, and it's hot, really hot. Mm. There it is. Okay, shut it off. Okay. So that's it. Like I say, we used just over 9 quarts, about 9.2 quarts. So we got pretty much all that fluid changed out. And what we're going to do here is tighten up that plug and torque it down. 106 inch pounds is what it gets. And uh, that's it for this tranny flush. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you for watching my video. Be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel at youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Donswell. I'd like to introduce you to Amswell Synthetic Lubricants. We have the most complete line of synthetic lubricants on the market that offer you greatly reduced wear, extended drain intervals, longer equipment life. You can check that out at my website, donswell.com. I also have a website for looking up fluid capacities. It's fluidcapacity.com. You can go there and print off the capacity of your engine oil cooling system transmission, transfer case differentials. Be sure to like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Don Synthetic Lubes. Thank you and have a great day.